how to start a YouTube channel in 2019. You're interested in starting the YouTube channel. You've been watching YouTube. You've been watching YouTube. You've been looking at how much money YouTubers make. You've been looking at maybe even bought a few classes and you started your channel and it didn't work out. I'm going to tell you some things that other YouTubers will not tell you. As someone who's had YouTube channels for over 10 years and I've had a great deal of financial success because see, there are two ways to do YouTube. There's the YouTube way where you game and you put up your videos so that they please the algorithm. And then YouTube will promote the crap out of your video. They will push your video, they'll push your video. And then there's the way that I do YouTube, which is inbound marketing. I create content and I sell online courses. The two are kind of hard to do together because YouTube will punish you. How does one make a decision? I'm about to once again tell you some stuff that the YouTubers won't tell you. YouTube will pick and choose who they promote because these people based upon personality or who they are or what their age, age has a lot to do with it. Usually the people who will grow from nothing to a million subscribers in a year are young. You're going to cater to a young artist. Uh, but once again, uh, Steve Dotto of Dotto Tech, it took him a long time to get to 100,000 subscribers and he's an older guy. So there's many ways that you can do YouTube based upon the YouTube way, which is pleasing the algorithm, putting up a channel. Cause the thing is to please the algorithm, you've got to figure out a video that works. This is a video that YouTube will push. For YouTube to keep pushing, you have to keep making that same video over and over and over, even if you're sick of it. Uh, before I became disavowed because I've used paid traffic and once again, do not use paid traffic on your YouTube channel. If you're not selling anything, it's not going to work out well. Uh, YouTube will kill your channel. If you're using paid traffic, they will reduce the organic reach. So that's something you should be aware of, but let's get down to the, the, the nitty gritty. How does one make a successful YouTube channel in 2019? Number one, you've got to have an angle. You've got to have some type of unique selling proposition or something unique. You might be very pretty, which isn't working the way they used to because fitness channels, are struggling. Uh, some of the old school fitness channels are still going strong, but some of the new ones, they just can't get any traction because there's so much competition, you know, just having a nice butt abs that's kind of common here on YouTube and Instagram. So you've got to bring something different. It's going to be your personality. It's going to be your presentation, or you're going to have some type of gimmick or editorial device. There's plenty of room. You could still grow organically on YouTube. That is very real and that's very possible. Um, YouTube and LinkedIn are two places that you can grow organically. But if you don't want to play those shenanigans, cause once again, pleasing the algorithm means that you've got to do things that you may not exactly be happy with. And also it becomes addictive because the first time you get a real check. I remember the first time I got a check for almost $4,000 from YouTube. It was like party over here. So that money that you get for as a byproduct of putting up videos, it's addictive. So I started taking my AdSense money and using that to buy paid traffic, which worked out very well for me. Now, once again, let's be very clear. Do not use paid traffic on your YouTube channel unless you're selling something. One of the things you can do is create a secondary YouTube channel and use that to run your ads on. Now I haven't done that. This is something that I was thinking about doing in the future, but the way in my head, the way that it'll work out since it's a secondary channel, which are running your ads that may or may not kill your YouTube channel. I'm not really sure. I'm just throwing it out there. You know, there are plenty of people who have courses that work 
And all these courses out here are designed to get you to do YouTube the YouTube way. I have never done YouTube the YouTube way. From 2009 to about 2016, I was selling digital products and you know, I still sell them, but at this point, YouTube didn't care that I was sending a ton of traffic off the platform. Around 2014, you know, 15, they started to wake up a little bit. And right now, they know this stuff like that. If you're sending off a lot of traffic off the platform, they're going to penalize your channel. Unless you fall in that range, and this is going to be kind of confusing because some people have noticed this. There's some YouTubers that YouTube push, but they don't follow the YouTube rules. Uh, Cardi B had a video on YouTube with two chicks exposing their breast. YouTube pushed that video. I had a video that I put a, a sexually suggestive thumbnail and they deleted the thumbnail. So depending on where you fall, cause you know, you, you'll hear people say, do YouTube this way. And then you'll get on YouTube and you'll see someone who's being successful the YouTube way who ain't doing that. They're not doing tags. They're not doing titles. They're not spending a lot of time on their thumbnail. They're just doing the, everything wrong, yet YouTube seems to like them. And YouTube is very much about personality and age. The younger you are with the most charisma and personality, there's this girl like uh, Joanna Sita. She's in high school. Her videos are not my taste, but YouTube love them and they push her. I mean, she gets pushed because I think she went from nothing to a million subscribers or two million subscribers in 16 months. One of the things, and I've noticed this with people who have done really well with YouTube, once they change their format, remember, if you're doing YouTube the YouTube way, you got to put out the same kind of video that pleases the YouTube algorithm. Uh, and also, you know, this is the thing that no one else will say. How you look is real important on YouTube. If you kind of butt ugly, you better have an amazing personality or an amazing body or amazing editorial device. It ain't gonna work. You know, people like looking at attractive people. So if you're attractive and you're smart and you're funny, you can win on YouTube. So this is all I have, you know, with doing it the YouTube way. Now, part of the thing is when you build your channel the YouTube way, that can make it very challenging to do YouTube my way because to do it the YouTube way is like, hey, you know, I'm here on this YouTube channel. I'm here for you guys. And I've seen people say this. It's like, I'm never going to charge for information. I'm never going to try to sell you anything. And you have lied to these people because the minute that you do try to sell something or try to change the format of your channel from a YouTube algorithm based channel to a channel that actually sells a product, you're going to get a lot of hate. You're going to have people who's like unsubscribe, you will sell out. I, man, you know, I should have known about you. They're going to revolt. So to do, you, you got to pick your, um, you know, which way you're going to go because you got to be very honest with your orders audience. Cause as you cultivate your audience, that's going to make your sales because, you know, I do almost a hundred K a month from my YouTube channel, but I've been, but the YouTube channel is 10 years old. The YouTube channel, I've been doing this for a decade. Uh, there are certain things that I'm going to create a course and I will be putting it out to my email list on how to do inbound marketing. There are many different things that you have to do to be successful. How, how you would make a video, that will please YouTube is different than how you would make a video that will get you sales. And there's gonna be a 15 step process up to a 38 step process per video. And this is what I'm getting ready to do because I've had a lot of people request this. And once again, this course would be predicated on how you can turn your YouTube channel into a cash machine. You know, there'll be scripts, there'll be uh, things to say, there will be openings. Cause you know, I've gotten lazy over the years cause uh, I've been hunting down on making money and I haven't been doing the things I used to do. So you'll start to see these things come back, but believe it in 2019, you can start a YouTube channel. 
give it six months to maybe two years and depending upon which niche you pick to serve, you could be making a lot of money. One of the things that YouTube has done that has benefited me in terms of AdSense is, you know, unless your channel reaches a certain milestone, you can't run ads on your videos, which knocks out all the new people. And my AdSense has tripled because they've made this move. So there is a way that you can create a channel. Once again, the niche must be right. And also you should stay away from very highly controversial things such as MGTOW, red pill, uh, very conservative, uh, racist politics. YouTube's getting rid of all that. YouTube's going to be very much like Disneyland. Uh, the category that I occupy is very non offensive. How to start a business, how to set up your LLC, how to set up your legal structure, how to be motivated, how to gather proper mindset. These things are something that are important, but they're not highly controversial. So be really careful that you don't pick a topic because you know, if you're part of the manosphere and you see your favorite YouTuber talking that stuff about women and you're like, yeah, I got something I want to say. I want to talk about women. Understand that those topics don't make a lot of money. They get a lot of views, but they don't make a lot of top money. And also if you have any financial advice, financial channels do very well from an AdSense perspective. I had a friend, his channel had 25,000 subscribers. He was doing 10 to 12,000 a month AdSense because of the ads that his channel got. They were financial and they paid a high CPM. So a lot of stuff to think about, but letting you know very soon, a course will be coming on how to do inbound marketing. And if you are a member of hustlers of H undergrad, you will get this, you know, cause you're paying a monthly fee and other folks who want to be part of this experience, because there's a lot of things that you have to do to be successful with YouTube and to make money. Cause you could be YouTube popular where you got a lot of people following you, a lot of people subscribing, but you're really not making a lot of money. Then you got people who become YouTube popular, who do a hundred K a month in AdSense money because YouTube is pushing their channel. But it is so hard to be t of that top, um, let's say a top 10,000 channels. You know, you could do a little research when through social blade and you can see where your channel ranks. And then when you see anyone with a million subscribers, you'll see that there's like four, the, you know, they're like 4,000, 5,000. So the top 10,000 YouTube channels are making a killing with AdSense because they get the views and they, they, they do that. But if you are like me, cause you know, um, I, I brought some stuff back to the channel. I started bringing stories. And once again, these are YouTube type videos because uh, one video I put up the story of Lucy, it's already at almost 4,000 views. And normally, because I've been focusing on making money, I don't get that many views. So my poison that I picked was I was going to create a lot of content, which has worked very well for me. Uh, some people can get away with putting up one video a week and make a lot of money. So we will be talking about in the course, how often should you post? The best rule of thumb is a minimum of three times a week. If you're trying to make some AdSense money or if you're trying to sell something. And also, whatever you're going to talk about, you got to be able to talk about this for a few hundred videos. My advice to you would be before you start, write down 50 topics that you can talk about before you, before you make your first video. That will go a long way into helping you make your YouTube channel successful because there are some people who can jump to shark. You can put up one video. One video can make your channel one, one viral or semi viral video, like a video that like gets a hundred thousand views in a week. That could be the video to propel your channel to greatness. And you would have to study that video and say like, okay, you know, get into your analytics and see what points this video really move people. I did a video that's talking about the rich people of Atlanta. And I know if I did another one of those videos, they would do well because that's 
what YouTube has deemed that they want to see from this channel. So we will see because I will be experimenting. But once again, go below, get on the email list, and I'll let you know when I'm going to start doing this because, you know, YouTube is remarkable. YouTube, you can literally in a year or two turn YouTube into a full-time lucrative business. Some people can do it in a few months, but typically like uh, when Bitcoin was like going through the roof, there were crypto channels making 100 to 200,000 a month in AdSense revenue. Then when Bitcoin exploded and their money went down. So, you know, there, there's so many things. And don't start a YouTube channel based upon, well, if I talk about this, it's going to make money because I guarantee you, if you don't have a genuine desire to talk about that topic, a genuine determination, knowledge base, that this is your thing, you will fail because you're going to run out of content. Uh, when I first started at YouTube, this is something I noticed about people who were trying to come after me, that they were good for about 10, 20, 30 videos. And after that, they started running out of content. And that's what's going to happen to you. If you choose a niche that you're not well versed on, you're going to run out of content, you're going to run out of steam, and then you're going to start looking for all this other stuff to do. I've been talking about business, starting businesses, how to make money, credit, mindset for 10 years. So pick your topic based upon longevity, unless you want to just have a temporary YouTube channel that'll be good for a year or two, and then you'll move on to something else but we'll talk about that in the course. So if you want to start a successful YouTube channel that makes money in 2019, go below, get on the email list, and I will let you know when I'm gonna start dropping this hot, hot content.